This summer, we won't be seeing this flight arriving at Muskoka Airport any longer as Porter Airlines has officially ended its Muskoka destination flight from Toronto. James Murphy, CEO of Explorers Edge, explains the news that came early in the new year. We received um, information from Porter Airlines that the service was going to be discontinued uh, in 2023, and that would have been our third year of service as per an agreement between us Porter and the District of Muskoka, the Muskoka Airport. The original plan had started in 2019, and then we had a hiatus due to the pandemic for two years. So year two was in 2022, and year three would have been in 2023, this coming summer for the seasonal service. From a tourism perspective, Val Hamilton, newly named Executive Director for Muskoka Tourism, says while this came as a surprise to her and the organization, it won't impede their plans for future tourism promotion in the region. Over the last few years, it's always kind of been um, a thing between us and the RTO 12 that they looked after the airlines coming in and that helped us attract an international audience while Muskoka Tourism stayed focused on Ontario. So we'll have to see in the coming weeks the discussions between Muskoka Tourism and RTO 12, how much that changes their plans and if we need to fill in any holes. But for the most part, we are focused on Ontario. And with our plan, we are looking at mostly months outside of July and August. And that's when Porter was coming anyway. So at the end of the day, it won't impact us significantly. But we're certainly here to support RTO 12 and and any holes that that do appear in, in their plan. And Murphy says it's not entirely bad news for Explorers Edge either, as data and analytics were gathered during Porter's flights to Muskoka that provide invaluable information that can be used to attract future prospects for flights to the region. So for us, you know, the airport's a district asset, is an asset that all of us taxpayers uh, pay for to have here, and we want to use that asset to benefit tourism receipts. So, you know, long story short, we built a we built a business case on projections and Veronics research, and what's great now is that we've got two years of results, two years of results that actually increased year over year. And the goal for us wasn't to get the cottagers up to the cottage; was to bring in international travelers. And we saw year over year increase of travelers from those U.S. destinations and from Porter's entire network. So. For us, it was a huge success and it was a huge learning. And in the early days when we launched commercial air service, uh, speaking to the airline industry, what we heard from the most was we were an unknown destination and an unproven destination. And we didn't have cats of services there. We didn't have the proper services there. That's all changed now. So in one aspect, it's like, thank you very much, Porter, for, for taking the chance on us and allowing us to build benchmarks, increasing those benchmarks, and now having going back to the original purpose of it, international travels and commercial air service, to go out and say to the airline industry, we have a proven track record that's increased year over year. We have the infrastructure set up. We're a bona fide destination. And back in the day, you know, for Ontario, it was all about Ottawa, Toronto, and Niagara Falls. And we firmly put our, our stamp on the map saying we're a bona fide destination. We're connected into the network. And looking back, these aren't projections anymore. We have hard numbers of people coming in. 